to the show. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. I hope you are having a beautiful Monday. Today you'll notice I I don't have a coffee. All of my mugs are empty, and that's because we are going to make a delicious iced pour over. So today, I'm sure that many of you before have had a cold brew if you are any type of coffee drinker. It's amazing, it's incredibly potent, super caffeinated, a, an amazing beverage for a hot summer's day. Today was a, a very warm day and it's like technically spring but it's really starting to feel like summer and I was thinking, you know what, I think we need to do something iced. But I wasn't really feeling a cold brew, it was really strong, it's the middle of the afternoon, I don't want to be up for the, you know, till 3 a.m. So I was thinking an ice pour over and there's been a recipe that I did a couple weeks back by myself <laughs> and it was delicious. So I figured let's just start a new little segment where we do some recipes from you know different coffee shops, different people, and we'll just kind of try them out here and see how it goes. So this recipe is for an iced pour over. Now if you've never had an iced pour over, basically uh, another name for it is Japanese chilled coffee. Basically you make a regular pour over, but beforehand you stick a whole bunch of ice in the bottom, about like 150, 200 grams worth. Then you make your pour over over the top. You're usually using a little bit less coffee and a little bit less water because it's gonna be diluted by some of the ice, but it creates a really, really clean, really nice beverage. And like I said, I'm a big fan of cold brew. I've made cold brew at home, but the problem with doing cold brew at home is that it's really hard to kind of do some of the different variables and be able to control them because a lot of it's just out of your hand, honestly. And if you don't have like a really, really nice grinder, it's even harder. So this, an ice pour over, is a great way to do an iced coffee at home. You can control a lot of the variables a lot better and I am a really big fan of it. So we are going to be using this lovely coffee from Madcap, the Spring Fling Blend, which is what they actually use in their recipe. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna quick grind the coffee and we will uh, go from there. All right, this recipe calls for 21 grams of coffee beans, so that is what we will be using because I trust Madcap, they're a wonderful company. And we'll quick measure that out. So close, so close. Oh, 0.1 short. Ah, oh, I put too many in. All right, for this grind setting, I'm actually gonna adjust my grinder just a touch because of the nature of this cold coffee. I'm gonna get it one, I think, one setting coarser, and we'll just kind of go from there. You know, that's kind of a guess, honestly. Not quite sure if it'll work or not, but we'll see. And yeah, I'll uh, see you in a second. All right, coffee's ground. I got the filter pre-wet, got the ice added in, so I'm gonna add the coffee in. Madcap for this recipe does it slightly different than I normally would do a pour over, and they add 30 grams of water every 30 seconds until about the three minute mark. Um, it's 185 grams total. So we're just gonna start it off and you know do it the way that they say to do it, because from my experience, they know best, and I, uh, I trust their brew method. Oop, 35, but yeah. We're gonna bloom it like normal. We're at 30 seconds, and it's time for the next pour of 30. Try to wet those grounds as evenly as possible. Mm, this one has such a lovely smell to it. It is at beautiful aromatics, honestly. Can't, can't go wrong with spring fling. All right, time for the third pour at one minute. Get up to 90, there we go. Yeah, you're really only adding a very small amount in. I don't know what their, the nature is behind them deciding to do this, but I do know that it creates a really good iced coffee, so they know something that I don't know. All right, the next pour at a minute and a half. Get that up to, whoop, 30, one. I may have done 40 grams. Oh yeah, now you can You can see it slowly melting the ice at the bottom. It's all right, that's what you want. All right, the two minute pour. What's really interesting about this method that they want us to do rather than a normal one is usually on a Chemex you'll get the coffee, you know, about an inch from the top relatively, whereas with this one it stayed about the same level, fluctuating a little bit obviously as the water drains down, but it stayed uh, about two and a half inches from the top. So it's a little, it's a little different, which is interesting. All right, and the final pour. Get that right up to the mark, one. 
187. Cool, I'll take that. All right, we'll let this finishing brewing real quick while it brews. I'm gonna get myself a cup with some ice so we can try this delicious beverage. Before I do that, I just wanna say, if you have never made cold brew or iced coffee at home, definitely, I would say start with this. Cold brew is way more time intensive. You need way more coffee and it's just way more of a hassle. And if you mess it up, you're messing up like a couple liters of coffee. Whereas if you mess this up, it's, you know, a trial run. It's like 20 grams of coffee and you're good as opposed to using, you know, half a bag of coffee, which would suck. Okay, now I'm gonna get the cup. Alrighty, so it is finished up brewing. It took about four minutes, which is, you know, about what you would expect from this type of brew. There's still some solid ice left. If you have a way to like filter it or strain it, you can get the extra ice out. If it falls in your glass, no worries. I have myself here this beautiful, you know, frosted glass. So we're just gonna pour that right in there. Oh, so lovely, so lovely. Ah, try not to make a mess. It's going rather well. All right, there you go. And there you have it, a wonderful beverage. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I would highly recommend. This is a fantastic, oh man, that aftertaste is honestly like any time that you want something iced and just, just delicious, like this is the way to go. An ice pour over, you you can't go wrong. It's definitely more unique than uh, you know a regular cold brew. It's gonna have a little less caffeine obviously, but the flavors you get out of it are incredible and delicious. So yeah, that is what I got for you guys today. I'm gonna wrap this up quick because I want to go enjoy this delicious beverage. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. If you try this, please let me know. Show me your methods, send me a little pic of what you create. I would love to see it. Otherwise, you know, that's all I got for you guys today. Excited to see you on Wednesday. Thank you all for being here and I will catch you in the next episode. Mmm. Cheers. <laughs>